Uh, welcome back. This is a simple drawer now from IKEA. You can find it on the uh, internet for the details. I will be using the lathe modifier. I am working in centimeters in this case. First I will draw two spheres and size them to match the size of the knob. The first sphere has a radius of 1.5 centimeters and 12 segments. Flatten it on the x-axis. Then make a copy of this and move it back a little. We'll change its radius so it's smaller in size. For this area in between the two, just draw a rectangle um, that roughly has a uh, width of 3.2 centimeters. Select the smaller sphere and convert it to a poly. Remove some of these polygons in the back, and now we can uh, we can start tracing a line to create the knobs profile. Using the spline you can start at the front of the knob. Notice the interpolation steps is at 4. Here we need a small step. Alright, that will do now and let's we can move it closer here, and on the uh, perspective view, we can select the spline and apply the lathe modifier. If you type L here, you can find the, the lathe modifier in the list. We'll change the segments to 8. Open the lathe submenu and move the axis so that it looks like a knob. Convert it to an editable poly. If there's any openings here, like on the front, you can use cap to close it. Let's try Turbo Smooth to see the result. You can make uh, a few corrections uh, if you're looking at the uh, at the photograph of the of the knob. Which I think maybe in this case just a little smaller or shorter here. I'll remove the uh, the helpers, and that's practically all. You can add texture after you're happy with your changes. You can uh, make smaller corrections to uh, this area by adding uh, a few more lines. And that's it. Thanks for watching.